you doing, man? Good. It's good to see, see you. Yeah, yeah, Welcome yeah. to uh, lovely Lafayette, Louisiana. You're in the heart of downtown. It was yeah. voted uh, in 2015 the nation's friendliest city. Can you imagine really? that? Yeah, yeah. I like friendly people. Absolutely. <laughs> this is the shop I told you about. Uh, Carpe Diem, which is Latin for seize the day. And it's a full-blown freestanding gelato shop. Uh, owner and proprietor here is Sylvia. Ah, if we can yes. get a moment with her in a little bit, she can tell you a little bit about the motivation, the passion, the satisfaction of running, owning, and operating a gelato shop. Yeah, it looks fantastic. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like a work of art. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, can yeah eat absolutely. That? You can actually absolutely eat that. can eat that, and uh, not as difficult as you might think. I might. Really? Have. Yeah, I might. Okay. Have. You've got to get a little schooling on how to make the product, but once uh, that's been satisfied, it's only a matter of your own creativity. Now, she's. It looks like. She's got a pretty simple menu, but she's also got coffee and... Right. In addition to the gelato, because of the seasonality of the business, you're not, you need to have a couple of other products, maybe like a coffee. Here she hey. is now. Hi, hey, Sylvia. Hey. How are Sylvia you? Sylvia Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. What a beautiful place you've got here. Thank you. It's kind of artsy. I guess you have a little art bent to you, maybe? I do, yes. Yes. Yeah. You have a piano and a guitar in the corner. What? What's going on? <laughs> Is this, a, is this a gelateria or is it It's a, like a gelateria with an artsy twist. We have a lot of um, writers, musicians, artists coming here. So it's all about it's all about love and passion, gelato, art, music. It's a fun place. Yes. Yeah. It's a fun place it's to congregate. It's a fun place to be. Okay. Absolutely. So the business side, that's really what I'm kind of anxious about. What, yes. What, can you make a living doing this? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What, I mean, you've got, did you... I guess, did you start with coffee and then go to gelato? Did you start with no. paninis? So, How did it work? For me, my personal story, it was all about passion and love for gelato. Um, I grew up in Italy, and so we... So you're actually really Italian. Yeah, I'm, I'm really... So Bertolazzi's not a stage name. <laughs> no, and my accent is not fake either. It's a true Italian accent. Um, so anyway, so we would just... We eat gelato there every day. Maybe twice a day, maybe three times. Because that's just what, what people do in Italy. We, we go out with the family, we, we go out with friends, eat gelato. It's not a luxury, it's just a way of life. So when I moved to the United States, there was no gelato. And I would go once a year, take the plane, go home, eat as much as I could, come back here and just not... Yes, but for me, it was really a big part of my life that was missing. And I remember specifically there was one Sunday I was walking around uh, downtown and I remember eating gelato with my family on Sundays and I got so homesick and I got so sad because I needed gelato in my life. And so that day I said, I will open a gelateria. Didn't know anything about anything, but I knew I was going to do it. And five years later, here I am. Yeah. So how, how I mean, it's got to be not inexpensive to open a shop like this. Well, here, a typical shop like this, which is rather large compared to what you see in Europe. Yeah, this is about 1,600 square feet. Okay. About yeah. a $200,000 investment. Okay. About 80,000 of that is in equipment. In so the, the stuff the you buy to make the money with is about $80,000. Correct. Okay. Correct. But the margins are quite lucrative in this business. Okay. You look at a 4.6 ounce serving, which would be a medium sized serving, all in your total cost with the spoon, the napkin, the gelato, the cup, it's about 80 cents. If you look here on the menu board, you'll see it's selling for $4.99. So there's a nice little margin on it, which helps you with a quick ROI, return on investment to the business. So that's four, four, 80 cents cost to make it, right? $4.99 sell price. Correct. Okay. I can see where you could make some money doing that. You could. And that's better more, than the diamond business, isn't it? It is, I think. <laughs> and more than that, it's could be more than just what you sell in a shop like this. Because what, you what you can do, since you have the bank of equipment necessary to make the product, okay. you could commissary it out to display cases that you place in other environments. Okay, wait, what do you mean by commissary it out? You make the product here and you transport it to a display case. Do you have a, like a food truck or a, do you do that? We don't have a food truck, but we have a little gelato case, like what you see here is a big one. So we have a tiny one with four flavors and we go out and do festivals. You know, we can do weddings, for example. Just the other sure. day we did a yeah. Christmas party for about 600 people. You could be at the beach. Yes, you, you yes. Could, uh, you could sell it to other restaurants. Retail it in local supermarkets. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of ways you can. Go is there a market for selling it to other restaurants? Yeah. There yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that would be high-end restaurants, Italian restaurants that didn't have a gelato. They didn't have the eighty thousand dollars worth of gear, but they still want to serve gelato. A high quality product. Exactly. An artisan product. Now you'll see in supermarkets, you'll see gelato on the shelf in a supermarket. Right. Big difference between that and artisan gelato. 
Gelato in a supermarket is primarily what we call premium ice cream. That can have a fat content of a minimum of 10%, but as high as 27%. Right. Where artisan gelato is much, much lower than that, 8 to 10%. Okay. Uh, okay. So, 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 all right. I look at this case and I see art. I look at this place, I see art. I look at you, I see art. But you also have to have some science about gelato. Talk to me about the balance between art and okay, science. So you want to know the basics. Yeah. And if you just want to learn how to make gelato, it's very easy. There is a gelato university. It's based in a Bologna, Italy, yes. Uh -huh. The base is in Bologna, but they have classes and schools all over the world. So in the United States, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and Vernon Hills, Chicago, have gelato schools, which means not years and years of studying, days. In five days, you can become a gelatiere, which five means days? That five days. So I could learn how to do this in five days? Oh, you will learn on day oh. one how to make it already, because I will teach you, hands on. Okay, so. Okay, so making it is one thing. Making it in business is another. Does that get covered at all in this five-day course? Yes, how, it, how does. Do you it does. What we do is we talk about the business aspect of it in addition to what the formulation is and what you need to do to balance the product to make it as high quality as it is. But we do touch on that. We talk about a concept called shop and shop and other ways you can get into gelato business for a lot less investment than opening up a whole freestanding shop. So there's many different avenues we okay. can teach you. And it seems like this would be a kind of a cool family business too, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I mean, I have a big family. Whether or not they want to actually work with me every day, well, you get the family to, to help you. But it's something you could pass on from generation to generation. So it's a good business environment, a good business investment. You're in a happy environment. Who doesn't like gelato? Right. Yeah, so it does seem. I mean, look how happy everybody is. They come in here, they have not only a wonderful treat, but a very healthy treat, because gelato is a healthy dessert. Yeah. Like John was saying, it has less than 10% fat, which, which means it's made with milk and not with cream. So ice cream is made with cream, so there's a guilt-free dessert. I mean, it's better than ice cream, I think. You know, a lot of people will agree yeah. with me. And it's healthy because it's made with fresh ingredients, and that's really one of the keys to gelato. Fresh milk, nuts, fruit, you can put anything in gelato that you want. And so every day you have to get up and come in and make the gelato? I but want to, do you have yeah. to start at like four in the morning, like a donut shop? Because I really don't want to get up that early. My dad is a baker and um, he did that. You know, he woke up every day, I think at 11 at night, worked the whole night, so I said, I never want to do this. I wake up around seven in the morning, come here around eight, make my gelato, and make so, people happy. Okay, so how long does it take to make a batch of gelato? It takes maybe 10 minutes. 10 I mean, minutes? yes, some gelati, because I'm I'm very creative with my flavor, so some of them, yeah. the crema santo stefano takes a little bit more preparation because I roast the nuts and I make my caramel, but mostly it's a very, very fast process. You can make your base, you know, your gelato base, in a, in a very, very big batch. Which I learned at Gelato University how to do that. Absolutely, yes. Correct. All the machines that I use here, we have at Gelato University, and um, they're super easy to use and they make great products. What you want to look at from a business standpoint is this. In Italy, which is the same land mass size as the state of Arizona, there are 40,000 gelato shops, artisan gelato shops. In the entire United States, artisan gelato shops, there are only 900. 900. Now you remember a few years ago, yogurt really hit the top of the charts. That's now flattened off and actually in decline. The U.S. market is in love with their frozen desserts. So the market is searching for the next new explosive trend. Why not something healthy like gelato? Much healthier than a premium ice cream that could fill that void. Yeah. We think gelato is going to be the next explosive trend. So you started with gelato and added coffee? or you started? I started with both, gelato and coffee. So which of those is the most profitable? Oh, gelato, absolutely, with no doubt. Gelato is the most profitable. It's nice to have coffee, like in the winter, you know, we have, because it's a seasonal, um, it's a seasonal job, but gelato is definitely the most profitable. And you also have hot chocolate, we right? Hot Italian chocolate. hot chocolate. Yeah. So what is the difference between Italian hot chocolate and regular hot chocolate? Like yeah. night oh, and day. Okay, so you have the American hot chocolate, which is chocolate milk, and it's okay. The Italian hot chocolate is thick, like pudding, pudding. and it's not as sweet. So you eat it with a spoon, oh, you, and you again, eat yeah, you eat it with a spoon. It. I mean, you can drink it, but it's better if you just savor it with a spoon. I will fix you one too, so you can see. And it's I've got a lot of sampling to do today. I'm, I'm going to leave here heavier than I came in. <laughs> For sure. Not really. Though. Yeah, no, it's healthy. Yeah, okay. it's healthy. Okay. So, 
the biggest and most important question, I guess, would be, yeah. would you do this again? I mean, you Absolutely. started this and you It's love my it. life. I love it. It's my dream. And I make people happy with that. So that's my mission. It becomes infectious. Thank awesome. you so much for time. Thank you. Thanks. And I will see you at the nice. Gelateria at the beach very soon. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks, John. You learned a little more about that. Oh, yeah.